Hello everybody, it's JT here. I am back with another video of engraving, but this time I will do on a four axis machine and this is draft geometry. So I will show you how to do this. Let's see here, create a new work group so I don't see, you know, like the old text. All right, so this one a little bit small. Let's make it bigger. So yeah, I think that would do it. Okay. So just want to make the bigger solid so it you know like easier to see. Right. So you have a row here. Row part round stock and you want to engrave and if you have a four axis machine you can use this method to engrave your part so let's see i think it's still three axis okay so this is three axis machine right so you have to choose a four axis machine or whatever machine you have Let's do this one a little bit taller. Okay, so that the first step is to choose your machine. Machine def definition or machine uh, MDD. Uh, the same thing. And next one is indeed work group here. So whatever work group you put your text or your part number in, you have to do this right click on it highlight and right click and you can see wg info click on it and then you check on draft draft this is the geometry will draft around the the, the surface of the round part so that basically it okay let's draw some tag here Okay, same old, let's do, uh, let's do a little bit, yeah, I think this should be fine, okay, so let's check this, radius here, one in, so, one in there, that's good, all right, so, something like that. As you can see, it already draft around it because I think I have this one on. Okay. So if normally when you draw a geometry, a text like this, it just flat straight with whatever your Z is, right? But it flat. So you can see here if I turn the draft on, you can see the tech chain a little bit. It draft, it curve, it follow. That's this surface right here. So that's why we uh, call it draft, I guess. All right. So let's make the two paths here. Just regular contour. All right, so field speed. So this is, I think one, right? So, okay, so that it, that the 3000. Okay, go in here. We don't need this anymore. This one is from last time. I don't think we need this one anymore. Well, let's try and see. Solid, okay, everything seems good. This is important, right? Over here, right? Precision, but we don't do precision anymore. We're gonna do polar silicone. So you have to check this, okay? Just highlight and uh, hide that, see if it work. Render. Yes, 
that's better okay so back to the this tab here just to explain a little bit more so polar silico is it wrap around the two paths go you know on the ground surface instead of position it go from one point to another point and this is when we did on a three axis because the three axis machine it just you know z just move up and down and then the x y just move to that location and then it will you know the machine will does it but with polar that means the four axis rotate at the same time with the z axis right so the z axis move up and down and then also the four axis gonna move too so that's why we choose this that's why i choose this for the uh this engraving right so let's see here hope you guys understand it okay let's draw another tag let's draw like something Good, so I can not wrap, not unwrap, okay. Let's draw something that... See, let's do the sender. Okay, yeah, that's look good. But let's move up to. I'll do three, so it out of the way. Okay, something like that. Right. So as you can see here, I draw a geometry, but it sits flat. So if you want to see, or if you want to wrap it around it, you just click on here, and it will wrap. And just make sure again, just make sure this one you have to highlight it draft, okay? Because if you don't do that, it won't work. So, all right, so let's go back to here. Instead of that geometry, we go into select this geometry only. Hopefully, it will work. I haven't done this for a while. Yeah, work as, you know, expect it. All right. Okay, so I hope you guys learn about uh, draft geometry and engraving on the far axis machine. Just make sure you understand this. And I mean, if you want to go deeper, you just go on here, like minus another 5,000. Let's see, I think. It would do it. Now it go deeper. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, so. I mean, with these two paths, and if you have a farm access machine, it's not necessarily just engraving, okay? You can do pocket or contour or something like that. It does not limit to just engraving, but I just want you to, sh to show you engraving because that's the easiest one to do it. Uh, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys learned something from this. Um, the next video i think i will do the engraving on the five axis machine and it inside a pocket like a some 
uh, just make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification so you can get you know my next video or future video okay because i'm gonna do a lot some more video when i have some more time and uh, the next few weeks all right see you guys next time and if you have question comment or anything now uh, make sure you do it down there and then i will reply or i will explain if you don't understand something hope you guys like it goodbye now